Holiday gift returns can be tricky, and now some new policies might make it even more difficult. 21 Alive's Meg Rossler joins us with advice from an expert. Hey, Meg. Hey, Amr. And yeah, Amazon, which is the largest online retailer in the world, is now starting to charge a $1 fee for some returns made through UPS, and they're not the only ones. The Hilliker family has been in the process of getting through their holiday returns. Yeah, we just got back from Target and had to wait in line to do so, but really the process of actually returning wasn't too bad. And though they haven't had much trouble, it's helped to know store policies, avoid peak times, and stay organized. But there are many who have been affected by another issue, online retailers charging for returns. Megan Hilliker recognizes that she's lucky there were no added fees for her, but how it could be frustrating to other customers. I mean, I, I would be angry if that was the case. I know I did two online purchases and they covered shipping back. Stores like Abercrombie and American Eagle are among many who are deducting fees for returns online. Rick Walls, president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Northern Indiana, explains that a lot of times these fees are necessary for covering stocking and shipping. But if those expenses are something you don't want to deal with, doing your research is important. So the, the biggest thing that I think consumers need to be aware of is do the research up front. You know, before you purchase an item, ask about the return policy before you buy. Walls also warns that if a return policy is not clearly listed, you may want to think twice about purchasing from that website. You should be able to find that information up front. And if it's not posted online, it may not be a very reputable retailer. So the better online retailers will clearly mark their, their policies up front. He also suggests to call a customer service number to speak with a real representative to make sure where you're buying from is credible. Meg Rossler, 21 Alive News.